Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a gin and tonic by my side and a phone and is a good reason for this. Um, literally yesterday um, there was an article came out about UK, new UK alert system and it made me kind of tiny tiny little bit worried. Um, I did a numerous of videos and I did a video not that long ago about the whole preparedness and the nuclear preparedness and some of you, um, some of you commented and said of course guys you have an alert system in your country to alert you of anything that's about to happen. That they had this in basically a second world war. Yet our ones in UK have been stored years and years back. So now they're bringing this back. So the alert system is back, which means that your phone is going to sound a sound, sound a sound, and basically vibrate for up to 10 seconds in unforeseen circumstances. I had the discussion with some of you and you said that why hasn't the UK not done anything like this like you know ages ago because many countries do and I did wonder why would we not just have things prepared we're not talking about preparedness for hurricanes because we don't have this but basically preparing the nation and having things in place if that if something were to happen and yet we are pretty much one of the well actually I think the small minority of the countries, they don't really have that kind of system, well, until now. And I have this thing here, so I have opened the government website, guys. So basically, the reason you might get an alert is due to severe flooding, fires and extreme weather. Think about it for a minute. Okay, we live in UK. Yes, we get some flooding somewhere. It's normally in very rural areas. Uh, wildfires, not to such. Yes, we we'll probably have some fires somewhere in the forest, but not something that it's danger to life, like where majority of the um, population lives. And basically severe weather. Again, we don't have hurricanes, but we have rains. Yes, we do. We have a lot of rain. Um, so I'm a little bit, not say a little bit puzzled, but initially I'm like, okay, but I have an Alexa that the other day told me there was a flood warning alert. So why do I need government to notify me why the phone and literally frighten the life out of me to let me know there's a potentially a flood alert nearby? Hmm, was I born yesterday or is there something behind that, right? We know the conflict is getting really heated up and whilst all the other countries fueling and putting money and jets and everything else into that war, things are heating up. And you cannot tell me that the government is doing this just because they want to warn you about severe flooding. I don't think so. I was not born yesterday. So anyway, nonetheless, guys, the point of this video is, as I said, that made me slightly worried a little bit, although we have discussed this thing and we said, well, why haven't government done this? And I'll tell you what, it's been trialed 10 years ago. They've done a test run and things were okay, but yet they have not implemented this because we didn't needed as a country because the whole fact is 10 years ago long time none of us really suffered anything that they technically preparing us for so we didn't that's why this thing was left alone so now 10 years down the line hey presto we suddenly need someone and the phone to bleep and tell you there's going to be flood alert up the road i don't think so so nonetheless it is coming so the date is guys is 23rd of april 2023 so your phone, if it's connected to 4G or 5G, will ring an alarm of whatever really loud noise for 10 seconds and it will vibrate. And it will continue doing this until you actually have to accept and click OK button, do you understand? And there'll be a call to action, whatever you have to do. But I assume it will tell you it will be a test and you don't have to do anything. Um, slight thing just again makes me question as a prepper. Um, 4G, 5G, okay? Let's think about it. The rural areas have normally have rivers, rivers, blah, 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 <laughs> rivers, gin and tonic talking. Um, so generally you will have more rural area that will have more possibility of a flood or a forest wild fire. Yet I bet you bottom dollar, a lot of those little villages do not have 4G or 5G. Many of them will do, but I'm pretty sure many actually won't. So Technically, if you think about it, it's generally they're putting this out there. It is this 4G, 5G, but why do you exclude, you know, the 3G, for example, 3G um, network, 3G, uh, whatever you call it. So it just 
it just makes you think just a little bit. So anyway, nonetheless, it does say that, that there will be other means of basically notifying people that do not have an access to a mobile phone, so probably be a radio or a TV, and basically that. So as I said to you earlier, it just makes me think gut-wrenching. We knew, as I said, when new things are coming and we're preparing for certain stuff, but when this kind of thing comes out, it just kind of just makes you poop your pants a little bit. Like, I speak on my own personal basis. And I know, guys, like, it's no different. If we've suddenly had this in place, like, 10, 20 years ago, if it was there as a system, that's like, okay, that's, that's fine. If they maybe updated it or did something and they just told you they're going to do a trial run, okay, I understand. But because we haven't had it and they had an option, they've tested it 10 years ago and they left it, to me, that just indicates there is something there the government not telling us. And, of course... We understand, we, you know, as you preface, guys, you follow the news, you know what is happening. So we kind of can see and read between the lines. And this is the scary part, um, as I mentioned, because we do prep. We're trying to prep to our best abilities. But I was just talking to my husband earlier and we're like, we're prepping. Yes, of course, guys, we have the food, we have this. And yes, we're prepping, you know, we talked about prepping for the new. But I think it's not really the nuclear thing that we're really now heading for. It's more so of a general conflict that might you know, basically a World War Three. This is where we technically are heading. And the preparedness part of this, like we have a toddler, but she's going to be three in a couple of months time, basically. Um, the thing is that suddenly, like we kind of, I think we're prepared for certain stuff, but God, I'm not prepared to just leave the house. So if suddenly, you know, in a couple of days or a couple of weeks, suddenly the bombs are flying around and we have to like say, flee the house, um, we're not ready. Yes, I've got my bag out bag, but again, we are not talking about guys like camping up in the forest. Like we're talking about evacuating the villages, evacuating, leaving a house and going somewhere like in a camp or whatever. I don't know. But the, this, the whole glorified thing, which I think somewhat people make it up to be, that you can oh, just camp in the forest, you know, because nobody's going to bomb a forest and can live in my tent. It's not going to happen. It's not going to be as, again, I use the word glorified, is what some people are made to be. It's going to be tough. People are going to exit the area quickly. It's going to be gridlocked. And we're pretty much going to be buggered if this is what's going to be basically happening. But my husband also suggesting things like, having stuff in your vehicles or converting your vehicles into more so maybe place of abode. Yes, you might not be able to go far, but escape potentially from the house. As you said, that if suddenly all the windows blown up because of the bomb gone out somewhere, you, you couldn't certainly probably sleep unless you can block all the windows. But hey, there's a lot of windows in the houses. Do you know what I mean? So just it's a lot of things to think about. So I am going to go in forward now to just consider my prepping stuff and take my prepping stuff to a slightly different direction because, as I said, been prepping for ages, but one of the things that just happen in the little things that you kind of gut feelingly know there is there for a reason, and it's not for the flood, it's not for this, but for something a little bit more serious, it just makes you question and question again. It makes you strip down your preps and makes you just think on a totally different level. And as I mentioned these guys to you before with like a growing, with gardening, with many other things, that it takes a little something to happen first before we start to take things seriously. Yet, if we prepared initially seriously, then we might not have this mini little panics that we all get when things are happening. So, anyway, moral of the story is, guys, so 23rd of April 2023, I believe is meant to be 8 o'clock in the evening. You can turn off the notifications on your phone. I'll put this in a flight mode or turn your, turn your phone off. But one of the things I think is very important, again, if you have elderly, if you have the people that do have a phone and it's connected to 4G, just to either turn it off or let them know so people don't have a panic. Because I just can't imagine, not everybody reads the news, not everybody gets told or understands or follows what's happening. So if you suddenly have an elderly person and a you know, shitstorm alarm comes off at like eight o'clock on the phone and like people would just be panicking. People that are not aware that it's just a test. Even for the split second realizing that your phone making a really weird noise that it would normally make. So just make sure you think of your people that are a little bit vulnerable and are obviously not able to maybe understand or comprehend what it is happening. So just prep them and basically prep yourself. <laughs> make sure you're not somewhere really important and your phone just goes off like crazy. And obviously remember, I'm going to try to remember not to panic because you know when you're busy and you're doing whatever you're doing, you can just really get involved in the moment and suddenly 
the phone rings and you like literally just crap yourself because you know you're just out of the blue so just be prepared so 23rd of april sometimes in the eight eight o'clock in the evening apparently and well yes guys so um sorry literally i'm sort of a bit ranting and a bit expressing my slight what concerns and uh, comprehension of what is about to potentially happen in the next few weeks to follow but anyway we've got to stick together we've got to prep make sure we help each other and obviously tell people that need help just do whatever we have to do and thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video i should have done the gin and tonic cheers bye bye